Hey everyone, it's Upnorth Collectors here. We are opening up a 2021 Top Series 1 Mega Box. We were able to pick this up from our Meyer store. I think it was $44. It was like $43.98 or I don't know, something, 99 something like that. So $44. Bucks. I'm not sure. Probably I'm guessing Walmart has them for $39.95 or $98, whatever Walmart does with theirs. But these are loaded with 16 packs, 16 cards packs, so 256 cards. It's pretty close. I'd have to do the math exactly, but I believe that's somewhat close to what you get in a hobby box. I want to say a hobby box is a little closer to 300. Yeah, um, I because think so. I believe a hobby box you get 20 packs with or 24 packs with 14 24 cards. 24 with 14, yep. So I'd have to do the math, but you definitely get more in a hobby box, but not like way, way not more. Like so way definitely more. a good yep. way to build a set, you know. So. Yeah, so you can buy two of these for the price of a um, hobby box. So now for I've what seen, it's worth. Yeah, I've seen one guy message me on Instagram. Was talking to him a little bit. Pulled a Joey Bart autograph and an SP along with something else out of his mega. I can't remember what the other thing was, but his mega was really, really good. Uh, I haven't really seen many of these yet. So no, not... neither have I. And we, the more are the ones I've seen on uh, for sale online have been Target ones. So oh, we've got a turkey red thing. The chrome like the first pack, actually, a refractor, I think. The nine fifty uh, twos is what they are. Tristan McKenzie, Otani. That's cool. Dylan Carlson. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep, not numbered, but yeah, he's looking. selling well. And Javier Baez. Going through here. We'll kind of go pretty quick through the base cards just because if you've watched our channel at all, we've opened up a lot of Series 1 so far. So I'll point out any notable, uh, you know, bigger name rookies and stuff. But Big fan of the set. There's a good one. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. And Acuna. So I like, I actually like how these packs, the first two packs are coming out. Like they're... Uh, the ones we opened for update, that mega box was horrible. Remember that? Yes, it was. It was very lackluster. I think I see a rainbow foil in here, which is cool. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yep. And a blue. So we've got a Ryan Brazer rainbow foil and a blue Chris Davis. Not numbered, but those are cool. And a Juan Soto. Pretty off-centered Juan Soto. And into the rest of the pack. I think these, like, at our Meyer, they had, like, and we're not yeah, in a big location. I think they had 15 of them. Yeah, Which is a, just a nuts amount. I mean, that's, like, for cards, even for anything, really. That's a ton of, uh, more, way more blasters. Yeah. Uh, or way more than they had of the blasters. There's a Mount Castle. Yeah, way here. more than they had of the blasters. In fact, our, um, uh, Meyer hasn't even had hanger boxes yet. So nice Joe Adele. Or fat packs. Yeah, they have not had any of either of those. We have not even touched those yet. So, so. Wal Walmart Walmart had fat packs and hanger boxes, but our Meyer has not had any, and they have the same distributor, MJ Holding. So interesting. Uh, Austin Hayes, Robbie Ray, and here's a gold Brendan McKay. All That's right, cool. it's not bad. That's a sweet looking card. I like the photograph and bryce harper i like the horizontal look yeah so well, i'm not sure nice I'm, evan white i'm not sure a big fan of the landscape the horizontal but i do like the photography on i like it one. for certain cards like the tatis i think is cool the landscape tatis it's difficult to display though which it is, is. and if you're issue. grading it um you know you have it in the case it's different than all the other ones but joe adele and josh donaldson that's what I was kind of saying. That it right, is, it, exactly. It is, it's not exactly sort of throws a little, you know, wrench in your system there when you got that. Right, and also all the other um, types of cards. There's not landscape. There's a free Freeman. No, there's no uh, basically like baseball. F I mean, football besides or basketball, like, yeah, besides like them. archives, there are some inserts sometimes. Like I know, like mosaic basketball, the give and go inserts, oh, are horizontal, right. yeah, and the uh, jersey ones from hoops. Yeah, the, there's uh, there's usually a couple of inserts, but not like the main in the yeah, main set. Yeah, usually you not know. the main set. No, they're always um, vertical. Even when they may, used to make tops football, I don't remember them ever having many yeah. horizontal cards no. in there. Um, they did have some. They had a few. But yep, they had a not few. Not that many. Nope. So, pretty good. <laughs> Just half that are a gold and a rainbow foil. So not yeah, that wasn't bad. That because what it what in hobby is what a rain or a gold is like one a box. Yeah. Not even. Not even one a box. I don't think so. 
Yeah, one of the reasons we do videos like this is to show you guys if you're out there looking and are able to find anything, which of course that's a whole other topic for discussion. But um, there's Juan Soto speaking of the horizontal. Um, you know, this is a way to at least see once what is in a box before you buy it. Like, do you want to spend 40 bucks on this or would you rather, you know, save your money for a hobby box? So there's a Mike Trout 52. Uh, but boy, these are definitely more fun than kind of what I had thought they would be. I mean, it's nothing crazy so far, but no. But for the price, if you don't want to spend the money on a hobby box and don't care about getting a relic, this is a pretty cool way to go about it, in my opinion. Right. I mean, I, I like that they're doing this. Yeah, we didn't get. Um, we got in our hobby box. We got an autograph, but those are hard to pull in uh, hobby boxes. Usually they're a relic. Not easy at all. Yeah. All right, there's a Jacob deGrom, 86, and a Blake Snell. I'm pretty sure we have the whole set of the 52 inserts because we have a ton of them. Um, the Chromes are really nice looking. I love the Chrome 52s. I think that's a really nice addition this year to the set. I mean, it's similar to what they did with the Turkey Reds last year. It's the exactly. same type of concept, basically. You know, so. However, the 52s, in my opinion, look better I agree i mean the, the turkey reds weren't bad but these definitely look better though i completely agree with you yeah here's, here's another, another one, one right there you could also get uh parallels and autographs of those which is cool so all right let's see what we get here a goldschmidt i think those are that's a hundred card set of those as well i believe and a blue behind there and another just a regular 52 and then a motor city mashers and yeah so pretty cool that was a fun pack so what do we get two blue so far it doesn't say how many you can get it just says blue exclusive so i don't know what the odds are for the blues no, we've but like three or four blues so far so. okay so my bad i wasn't counting there he is Christian so, Pache. Uh, that would put them at, like, I would guess you're going to get, I would say four blues would probably be a safe estimate. There's a think. Roberto Clemente. Those are kind of cool. That's cool. That's the 70th anniversary um, insert, I believe. I collected a little bit that year. That's like 2013 13, tops, I right? believe, yep. I think so. No, it definitely is because that's like Puig's rookie and stuff. Yeah, that's 13. That's what I, that's what I wanted to say right yeah, away. Maybe it's or maybe. Oh, maybe. It might be 12. It's in... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so we got a little microphone problem here. Let's see if we can get this to work. All right, hopefully we're still on hopefully cue here. Hear us. I don't know. We're just going to go with it. If maybe you can't, we'll, we'll just have to do a voiceover. Mate, you can't hear our voices anyway, so... We have another rainbow foil. It's a red. Amir Garrett. Amir Garrett. So, and then a Chris Bryant. All right. So, yeah. Anyways, we were talking before the microphone fell out. Um, what were we talking about? Something, something. I think the pull rates of the blues. Oh, yeah. The blues, right. That's what we were talking about. Um, yeah. So, I, yeah. If we got four, maybe you think? I think so. Or three? Three or four. There's a nice one, Madrigal, and a Ricky Henderson, pretty sweet. Aaron Judge with new teeth. I saw something about that on social media or ESPN or someplace, I can't remember. <laughs> it's like, look at his teeth, they're fixed. I like them the way that they wear, personally. Acuna, yeah. I know, that's kind of weird. There we go, Alec nice. Baum, rookie. So we definitely have four blues now. Without and them. vintage stock. Vintage stock. Ooh. Oh, oh no, not vintage and stock. Orange. And orange. So that's, that's pretty cool. cool. And then a Brunson, Molina. God, these are actually good value. Yeah. Two a gold and orange. Two rain or a rainbow foil. Two chromes. And what else do we have? We got some else too. Oh, and then the blues. Yeah, so... And 250 base cards, so pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the the blasters, though, you do get quite a bit of stuff in them, too, but I'd say this is probably 
for you. I'd probably buy one of these over two blasters. All right. I don't know what the odds if the odds are better in these than the blasters. I'd have to do a comparison, but I'm not sure. Sometime we maybe we'll do that as a video. We'll do two blasters versus one mega box. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, break. Um, here's our stack of inserts, numbered cards, parallels right here. So you can see that. Um, that's what you end up with. And then here is our base stack. I think these are base cards, aren't they? Yes, they are. All right, so this is the base stack right here. So you can see what you get for base. Yeah, I know it's not all perfectly tidy. but And then that's a lot of cards. So pretty fun for $44 if you can find them. Um, I know they're selling on uh, eBay for about 60 So that's not really all that bad. Yeah, they won't keep flipping. for. There's no way that they'll stay at 60 though, with the amount of uh, stuff yeah. that they're putting out. They'll be a retail price pretty quickly. probably will be close. Like 50 bucks about. Yeah, they, yeah little, right. A Maybe a little bit more, right? A little more, a little less, yeah. Anyway, so let us know what you thought of this break. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you would, please, if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and we will see you in the next break. Take care and have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.